Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast for February 3rd through the 9th. We're going to see what's happening in the week ahead here with this lovely little deck. And then we're going to pull a love message for you from this deck here. So we're going to see what's going on. I know I don't typically pull a love card, but it's February. We're in the mood. Why not pull a love card? Um, Taurus, I think you guys might be having an opportunity this week to go somewhere you've always wanted to go but you didn't think you'd ever get to go to um maybe it's not happening this week but maybe plans or decisions are being made or you're getting the tickets or maybe like you wanted to go to something and you weren't able to get tickets and then they might be manifesting all of a sudden uh <laughs> the reason why uh some i had i wasn't getting songs for all of the signs but some, towards the end, I started getting um, songs for the signs. And the song I got for you guys, Taurus. Here's your Monday, Tuesday. Your Wednesday, Thursday. And your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. Uh, I'll tell you right now. Oh, you see, you have eight of wands. Travel, movement, uh, something that was stuck getting unstuck. So that might be... Mm -hmm. Something is moving ahead. This has also kind of been our stalker card. It's been coming up a lot. So something in the collective energy. And for you guys, Taurus, I do feel it in the sense of travel. So the song that I was getting for you guys was actually a grocery store jingle for Stater Brothers. Because I would always see that commercial on TV. I would always hear that jingle. And I wanted to go so bad because I thought there were like pickup trucks and cowboys there. And my mom would say, there's no Stater Brothers near here. We can't go to Stater Brothers. We have to go to Vaughn's. And I was like, no, like <laughs> they wouldn't have it on the TV if it didn't exist. So, but it wasn't close. And that was like my childhood dream to go to friggin' Stater Brothers, right? So something that I think that maybe you might have seen and you wanted to do, but it just felt so out of reach. Like, there's no way I can get there. Like, like as a kid, you can't drive. You can't just, like, go and, like, there was no, uh, you know, Google Maps back then. I couldn't, like, look up the nearest Stater Brothers. So it could just be something where just something that has piqued your interest, something you wanted to explore. And maybe it's not necessarily a place. Maybe it's an opportunity or something you wanted to do. Like, you wanted to explore a different culture or a different language or something like this, you know. Uh, but I feel something that you didn't think was possible was going to actually happen. Like, it's actually the, the door is opening, okay. And by the way, if you're, if you're worried about me, don't be worried about me. I have since passed by stater brothers i have seen stater brothers and i have been so i'm okay i am not damaged um so there could be something for you guys that you're actually getting to have that moment the eight of wands though tells us it's kind of coming out of nowhere like it's just it's surprising you it's jumping out of nowhere and then it's happening fairly quickly like it, it just seems to be f something is falling in your lap something that you didn't think you were going to have an opportunity maybe for some of you it could be a relationship like maybe you had approached someone or you had asked somebody out or you kind of had expressed feelings and they weren't feeling it they may be coming around saying you know what I was wrong. I do want to do this. You know, I, I do want to be with you. It could be something like that even. Because it's a general reading and you guys are all on different paths and roads in your journey, you're going to be experiencing the energy in different ways. I can't sit here and say it's going to be the same exact scenario for every single Taurus. That's why I go over the different scenarios. You know what resonates with your situation. Your Wednesday, Thursday, my dears, is oof, 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 is... Well, this deck refers to it as the Venerable Man, but we know it as the Hierophant in traditional tarot. Some decks it's referred to as the Pope. This is tradition. This is commitment. This is values. This is agreements. This is contracts. So it could be that something is happening in which it might come to stability. You know, like maybe you're manifesting this relocation or you're manifesting property, something that's giving you roots, something of this nature. But overall, it's you're making some kind of a commitment. OK, so for many of you, there may be something in terms of a significant soulmate kind of coming out of nowhere. And you didn't think that that was going to happen or you're getting an opportunity to travel somewhere or partake in something you didn't think that you were ever going to, but it's going to be very serendipitous. It's going to be very like, you know, you know, like destiny. 
that that door is opening up to some agreement for you, whether it be a commitment or a contract that's furthering your career or a commitment or a contract that's aligning you with your, uh, you know, your priorities, your ethics, your values, like minded people, um, or if it's something having to do with, uh, you know, uh, you know, a, a relationship. I do feel for some of you that you do have a returning relationship. I feel it's a relationship where you all broke up because of a uh, cultural or religious beliefs. You know, maybe um, that, may, and maybe your person wasn't necessarily religious or super into like a certain cultural way of life, but it could have been their family would not have been accepting or approving of you or vice versa. And somebody might just be getting over it and saying, you know what, to heck with it, I don't care. Like, you know, we, we have the same basic values and that we both believe that you should, you know, uh, be kind to other people, you shouldn't steal, you shouldn't hurt anybody, you shouldn't lie. Like, that's enough to, to build a relationship on or, or what, whatever your ethics are. So I feel there could be something about where there was like a, a separation um, or even like you may have been turned down for a job and, and, you know, they may be reaching out and saying, you know what, we're so sorry that we turned you down, but the person we hired didn't work out. You were the runner up. Like, you know, are you still looking for a job or are you still interested in working here? I, it just feels to me like something, it felt like it passed you by and now it's coming back around to you. Okay. Uh, let's see what your Friday, Saturday and Sunday card is. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you have courage, which is there could be a Libra involved. I want to say something. Oh, and oh, I forgot the most important one. Silly me. Taurus, this is your card. This uh, Hierophant card or Venerable Man. So when your major arcana card comes up in a reading, for me, the way that I read... It says the situation that's happening, you're in power of the situation. You have the upper hand. Um, you know, things are going to go your way. And it is something in which you're really kind of taking back your power, getting back your confidence, feeling really good about you, feeling very clear about who you are, what you want, where you're headed. Okay, so whatever this is coming in, you're definitely feeling you're definitely feeling on top. Uh, so your next card is a major arcana card. So you've got two major arcana cards coming in this week, which says the decisions and the choices that you're making are going to be long lasting. You know, major arcana have to do with a significant change, a significant shift. They're not going to last a couple of days. It's going to be a period of time or a cycle. So you're coming into some long term agreement or commitment. And the, the courage card, which is major arcana number 11, is the justice card and the justice card also has um kind of themes here of contracts and agreements so i do feel some of you are making a contract or an agreement whether it be a verbal one whether it be a promise in a relationship or physical contracts there's going to be something in terms of agreements but the justice card says you're going to have to be courageous in that you're going to have to make the right decision for yourself so for example if there was something where it didn't work out because you had different backgrounds or different religions, you're going to have to be brave to go in and to say, you know, I'm committing to this person and we're going to make this work. Um, for other ones of you, uh, just something that you're going after, it may be kind of causing you to come out of your comfort level, like, you know, uh, or your, your, your comfort zone. Um, and you may be having to make an agreement to do this thing, right? It might be some kind of an agreement where it's causing you to make a commitment. Maybe you're getting to travel to a place you've always wanted to go, but it could be a work-related situation, and maybe you're having to commit to be there for a certain uh, amount of time. Or somebody doesn't want you to take this opportunity or travel, and you're going to have to set down your boundary and say, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go. So, you know, being able to stick to your belief, being able to stick to your resolve and to stay true to you, and that can require courage. We're going to go ahead and see what your love message is for the week. And I do invite you guys to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos because it may resonate with you more or it may bring in more information specific for your energy, especially if you can't get a private reading right now. But if you would like a private reading, I will tell you about the sale I'm having in just a moment here. So your love message, however, first, let's, let's look at that. So we've got this card here, right? And so here, this person to me looks very noble. They look very 
um, focused. They look very clear about where they're going, what they want to do. This looks to me like somebody in charge right? Like somebody that would have to, uh, like somebody who's in a position of authority, very, very much like, you know, the Hierophant or the venerable man, like somebody that people would come to for guidance, for assistance, somebody that people would really respect. Um, so this could be your energy, Taurus, the energy that you're coming into, or you may be finally um, attracting the kind of partner that has these characteristics or traits. We're going to see what the message is here on the back. And the message on the back is the teacher. It says, study and share your wisdom with one experienced enough to value it. Be realistic and act learned, wise and quiet, mature, and learn the meaning of l'amour. The one for you that teaches that teacher's pet loves all the learning they can get if you're well schooled or even self-taught you'll gain the prize that can't be bought so there's a significant um uh relationship that you're manifesting at this time which there's gonna be a lot of learning there's gonna be a lot of learning a lot of teaching um a lot of showing so for some of you taurus maybe you're learning how to have a healthy relationship and you're manifesting someone who's walking you through that, or you are learning how to, uh, you know, kind of accept this kind of attention, to open up, to express ideas, uh, and to connect with people who have had similar experiences in some way. But there's definitely a positive, like, like I call it positive karma, like a, a positive karmic soulmate or a positive karmic uh, love lesson coming in that's going to really allow you to feel connected and like you're really you know accomplishing this learning process on earth you know being the spiritual being learning to have the physical experience uh, so again guys you might want to check out your moon sign and rising sign maybe even your venus uh, for the love message since uh, venus energy is going to be your ruling love planet but if you would like a private reading i'm more than happy to do that a lot of people have been asking me to have a sale on the 60 minute videos and i haven't done it in a long long time i did it once when i first started out i don't know if it was because i was new but a lot of people jumped on it and i was booked for almost you know four months out and i had a really crappy phone it broke I broke another phone I because it was just it was too much strain but I have better equipment now I think I can keep up and I want to say thank you so much guys I am blown away to reach 88,000 subscribers I am surprised this time last year I was barely at 20,000 I cannot believe 68,000 people came in in a year I love you guys I appreciate you so very much so to say thank you so many of you have been asking and asking for half off of the hour long videos. So um, normally they're 150, so they're gonna be practically half off for 88. Since we have uh, the 88,000 subscribers, I thought that would be a nice little way to celebrate that. Um, I know that might still be uh, steep for a lot of people, and so there are other options. There are more affordable options. And I'm gonna continue to post the free videos, obviously. I'm gonna put all the free videos out continuously. And if you would like a daily message, if the weekly free videos are not enough, please feel free to join, uh, to follow on Instagram and Facebook, Amethyst Angelite. I post a card of the day there every single day. Uh, I go ahead and I do a little pick a card game there. So you technically get two cards a day on the social media. So, you know, Amethyst Angelite, check that out. And don't forget to watch your channel, The Angel Messages. Love videos for February will be up in a couple of um days so look out for that i thank you so very much for watching liking sharing commenting subscribing i'm wishing you an amazing week taurus take care